What? I mean, you you think it seems obvious that we're that often we're sharing opinion, right? Hold on, Kim. Did you see this? Oh, I didn't no! see a breaking news alert. I sure hope not. Uh, last minute gas, according to CNN. No! Last minute settlement reached in Dominion Fox News case. The just just announcing this settlement reached in this defamation case over Fox's promotion of debunked election conspiracy theories. I'm so sad. that that is correct. I that is correct. So there is a, there is a settlement. I was hoping they would go to court. And the emails would be read and the voicemails would be played and people would be forced to confront that they're spreading lies. But apparently, the, according to Delaware Superior Court Judge Eric Davis, he's announced in court, the parties have resolved their case. That's it. He told the jurors, your presence here was important. Without uh, you, the parties wouldn't have been able to resolve it. So that's it. This is because there was a delay of about two hours while I think this whole thing started. You know, Fox had I'm to know, so that, know they were going to lose this one. They had to know it. Yeah, but why not take the, I, I just. Thank you, by the way, for that news tip. We appreciate that. Can you believe it? I am so upset. I am yeah. so upset. You know, this, this, this is what's wrong. I, I was listening to um, some sort of analysis about this and, you know, some people were bringing up, you know, free speech, what effect this could have on the rest of journalists, these cases, if it made it all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court and what have you. I'm just so disappointed that Fox wasn't handed, you know, their ass just wasn't chewed out and they weren't found to be guilty. And I want to know what the consequence. OK, you what? settled. What the hell does that mean? What does it mean? Well, I mean, it me probably means it was a one point six billion dollar suit. So Fox probably has to fork over some money, but I would they think have that money. That wasn't the problem. No, it wasn't. They would have to. I, I don't know how you're going to change the culture at Fox News. You I'm know, so pissed off and then whose head's gonna roll because you know somebody's gonna have to get fired it's not gonna be rupert murdoch it's not gonna be one of the big stars it's gonna be some peon probably no mm -hmm. oh, this thing happened it fell through the cracks blah 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 i am i am almost as disappointed in this as i was in the citizens united decision i mean these it? are the things that fundamentally mm -hmm. alter our society the fact that people watch fox news and i'm putting news in quotes when it's full of bull crap so often there needs to be a way of educating watchers of this channel and own and newsback and cnn and msnbc when you are hearing opinion it needs to be made it, yeah. and that's not <sighs> no it, it and it's it's like you they didn't get they didn't get called out in in court you know, it's not a matter yeah. now of, of public record that they were, you know, that there are there is proof that they lie on purpose. And that's what I think the American people that we wanted the American people to hear. They lie on purpose. Yeah, I wanted to share this. <laughs> Our main story tonight is more BS we made up pretty much. Right. I mean, Fox doesn't give a crap. They don't care. The reason why they kept pushing the damn election fraud thing is because the people that watch its channel want to believe it. And they looked to Fox to confirm the lie. And they know and they knew they were lying. I am so mad. I'm so mad. I mean, it's obviously yeah. Dominion's decision. But they've already lost some contracts uh, for their voting machine. So I don't know yeah. what that's going to mean. Yeah. <laughs> Lori says, want to bet it's a woman who gets fired? Yeah, probably. Uh, all right. Well, we'll continue to follow it. But that sucks. Yeah, thank you for that tip. And we'll move on to President Biden issuing an executive order now to make child care and caregiving costs cheaper. While speaking from the White House Rose Garden, the president announced that he is directing federal agencies to adopt measures to increase access to high quality child care and long term care and to better support workers in those sectors. He said the cost of care is too high and the pay for care workers too low. The president said the order is the most comprehensive taken by a president to expand care. It doesn't require any new federal spending, but the White House says it is continuing to push for $600 billion in funding over the next decade for child care and for early education as well. Well, we know, we know it well, right? Uh, every year, 
we remember what happened on uh, in 1906. Then residents, they say, have to prepare for the next big one. On the 117th anniversary of the 1906 Great San Francisco Earthquake and Fire, Mayor London Breed saying this. She's attending uh, the ceremony today, earlier today at 5.12 a.m. at Lotus Fountain, noting San Francisco's resiliency after the magnitude 7.9 quake. She says if folks aren't prepared for a major earthquake, uh, they need to get ready now. And so for more information on making a plan, gathering emergency supplies, you can go to sf72.org, sf72.org. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is calling on Democrats to take up a sweeping energy bill. Pardon me, wrong picture. There he is. Mitch McConnell, because you needed to see him today, uh, taking up a sweeping energy bill passed by the House. McConnell says he thinks this legislation, which passed with bipartisan support, wasn't given enough attention. He is urging Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to take another look at it. The Republican-led House passed the bill last month. Schumer previously declared this bill is dead on arrival in the Senate. He says it's a wish list for big oil masquerading as an energy package. No can do, McConnell. New developments in two California mass shootings at Sikh temples. Oh, here they are making the announcement. But 17 people have been arrested. They are accused of opening fire in Stockton last August and just outside Sacramento last month. The attorney general believes the groups are also connected to at least five attempted murders in Sutter, Sacramento, San Joaquin, Solano, Yolo, and Merced counties. Rob Bonta says the state is safer now, adding no family should ever have to worry about drive-by shootings or other forms of gun violence where their children live and play. So again, 17 people arrested in connection to violence against members of the Sikh religion. E-commerce giant Amazon may soon open a new parcel delivery station at an empty lot right near the San Francisco International Airport. But the retailer says they're not letting go of plans to open a similar distribution center in San Francisco proper. Amazon bought the parking lot for $96 million. They've been in talks with San Bruno City officials to convert that space to a package delivery center. Amazon has yet to file formal documents to build on the nearly eight-acre site. A company rep telling the Business Times they'll have more to share on plans in San Bruno coming up soon. And here's a story for you. Oregon is another step closer to launching magic mushroom centers. <laughs> That's what they're doing. They're, they're doing it in Oregon. I'll tell you. Right. So the o- Oregon Health Uh, authority has issued licenses to the first three facilitators. They are trained to prepare clients, administer uh, psilocybin mushrooms, and help clients through this whole experience. So you go to the center, you're assigned a person, they make sure you're okay, they would get you ready, they give you the magic mushrooms, and then they make sure you don't freak out while you're doing it. I know two people who have done that. Really? Okay. Not in in Oregon. They did it down in Mexico. Um, and they said it was like a life-changing experience. Now I'm really? not promoting it. Um, I think that there's only, I, I don't, I don't have a problem with this move towards using drugs that were considered previously recreational in this therapeutic way. I think that there are probably many drugs that can possibly be used in this way. I just don't want it to be a free for all, especially with mind altering drugs where you're hallucinating because bad things can happen. Now, if you are, you know, creating areas where people want to use it recreationally uh, and yet still kind of get the therapeutic experience, I'm equating it to, you know, those retreats that you can kind of go to or whatever. You don't necessarily need help, but you just want to kind of go through the experience. Why not? It's a new kind of frontier. I just want people to be watched over. And uh, well, and that's the That's the new kind of thing. A lot of states are looking at legislation or confronting legislation that would make psilocybin, even ketamine uh, legal in these centers where someone is checking you out. A lot of people say there needs to be a lot more research as to whether or not this helps. Some say if you have PTSD or you have depression, that, that this type of, I don't know, medication experience, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm 
can make a difference uh, without having to take medication every day, that it can help you. Again, more research needs to be done. There, I have no studies showing proof that uh, that, that. oh, what does COVID killer say? Did mushrooms many times in my life? I'll just say I truly feel for people who don't try it once in their life. Interesting. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And, and then Amy Brown says, microdosing, you don't even get a hallucinogenic feel. It's just such a game changer for people with mental health, like depression and anxiety. It's literally life changing. I have heard that so many yeah. times. So it's just like something kind of clicks a little bit better, but you're not like, you know, it's not the LSD or kind of, oh, seeing things move all over the place. Um, yeah. You know, and, and honestly, so, psilocybin has been around for decades to act like there's, this is some new thing that people don't have experience with isn't true, but using it in this way, I think is, is important. Uh, so the rest of the story goes like this. Okay. They, uh, these folks, they prepare the clients, administer the psilocybin, and then they help you through the experience. Psilocybin can only be administered in licensed service centers. So it still would be illegal, I guess, to do it at your house if you're not, if you don't have, you know, someone to help you through it or you have to right. be in the licensed center. Two manufacturers have been licensed and the Oregon Health Authority is in the process of licensing labs to test these products because they want to make sure everything's safe before they're given to people. Once service centers and labs are certified, then they could start taking clients. So psilocybin is a believed to help with things like PTSD and depression. But again, I would caution more studies are necessary, right? Absolutely. I mean, we just don't want to I don't know, exacerbate a drug problem on our streets that we still don't have a, a, a hold on. So that's what I don't want to happen. This next story is, I mean, wild and disturbing at the same time. Okay. Honestly, I feel like you ha you see these stories where people have these exotic pets and they just aren't prepared. They just can't do it. Uh, that's what we're looking at here okay. in Tijuana, Mexico. Okay. So what we have here is a Bengal tiger yes. found chained up inside Aww. an abandoned house in Tijuana, Mexico's National Guard. They had to devise a plan to safely get this tiger into a cage and transport it to somewhere it could be cared for. The Office of the Attorney General of Mexico says neighbors called in about a large animal roaming about on an abandoned sucks. property. I mean, why would you do that to these animals? It's basically legal to own tigers in Mexico if they are registered with the country's environmental authorities and guidelines are followed for big cats in captivity. Investigators have not found where this tiger came from or whom it belongs to, who it belongs mm -hmm. to. But yeah, it was just chained up in this abandoned property. And they had to, you know, go get it. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to have a tiger, if you're going to have something as majestic as that, like, take care of it. I mean, geez Louise, people. I would say don't have it. Well, right? yeah, that's true. Right. Exactly. I mean, don't have a tiger. What? Come on now. Yeah. Let it live in the wild where it belongs. Come on. Right. Come I on. mean, unless you're a, a zoo, in which case it's even sad for me to see them at the zoo. But I know in some cases, zoos do um, safeguard and try to expand populations of animals that are endangered. Right. So at least that's the good part, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. All right. And lastly, the priciest city in the United States, do you know what it is? What is it? It's New York City. Oh, is it, it is New York City. New York yeah, City. it's the priciest. Uh, New York being ranked as the priciest in the United States, according to a 2023 study by Smart Asset. Get it? Smart Asset. Smart <laughs> Asset. An investment advisor company. The findings show people earning $100,000 in the Big Apple amount to less than $36,000 when you consider taxes and the cost of living. Honolulu, mm. Hawaii, second on the list. San Francisco, third. One of five California cities to crack the top 10. So, very nice. There you have it. Very, very nice. Yep. Okay. And there you have it. I'm Kim McAllister on the Nikki Maduro Show. There you go. Okay. I'm trying to do two things at once right now. What are we doing? I want I want to go to, and I want to see if this works real quickly. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I want to go to CNN Live because they're they're carrying. I want to go to the Dominion voting thing. Yeah. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I could bring it up on my computer real quickly. 
because I want to, no, I don't have, I don't have it. I don't think I can log into it right now, but apparently they're speaking live right now. I don't want you guys to go away or anything, but we'll, we'll, we'll follow it. If you are just joining us, Dominion settled. They friggin' settled. And I just don't understand. I really don't understand why they would do something like that. Uh, I want to know more details about the consequence or what is Fox going to have to do because they lied. I, I want them to have to do report after report. That's what I want. I want them to report after report. We lied. Is that so bad? I mean, come on. Is that, I feel like that's fair in my opinion, but. So here's what they're saying. Uh, apparently the judge in this case, Eric Davis mm -hmm. is praising both sides Boo. saying I've been on the bench since 2010 and it's the best lawyer lawyering I've ever seen. He said, I would be proud to be your judge in the future. Uh, the hearing is over. The case is closed. Done. Off they go. We still don't know exactly what the settlement is, but we know the parties have resolved their case. Um, the settlement brokered while the trial was on the brink of opening statements. So they were just getting ready. Like, and weren't then, they going to be doing boom. like jury selection? And that was the other thing. How hard would it have been to yeah. find a jury that doesn't have any sort of bias Political about bias. this whole entire thing? Well, the jury was sworn in and they had uh, to deal with the two hour long delay. And that was the, where the deal was quietly in the works. So. Yeah. Seven hundred eighty-seven million dollars is part of the settlement, so not one point whatever billion. That's all they it's said, according to, to Randy. Thank you. One point six billion. Yeah. One point six billion, and they settled for yeah. seven hundred and eighty-seven million and a loss of contracts. That's the thing. It's some of these cities and counties are not going to use Dominion because it doesn't matter. Now that they settled, again, I want to know if part of the settlement box has to admit it. If they don't admit it, then people won't believe it. That's the thing that bothers me. We have to get through to these brainwashed, and I'm going to use the word brainwashed, brainwashed people that believed that the Dominion voting machines were changing votes. If P these people don't understand that and aren't getting it from the source, i.e. Fox, Newsmax, own, whatever, right? then they're just going to be like, oh, see, they settled because they didn't have a case. Because they didn't have a case. Ah! It drives me nuts. I, I'm i just, I, I'm really disappointed. We're going to talk, well, as more information comes out, I'm yeah. sure that we'll be discussing this more and more, but it just, it, it really it chaps my hide that this actually happened. It really, really does. Because people are dumb. 